Jambo jambo guys. This is your guys Zeki and welcome to Jazz Zeki. So manze today tuamanga pole text exclusive uh, information. Unajua sasa wengi wamekuwa kiniulizia ulitumia agent gani na like ulitumia process gani ama process gani ulitumia kuja Doha. So actually I'll just start with my my process yenye nilitumia kuja Doha and the agent I used to come to Doha and at least itakusaidia and itakupatia at least confidence that uh, he agent ni legit cause pale mtaani umecheck issues zimekuwa zikitokea wase wananyanganywa doji wa agents agents wengine ni wakora actually this happens because of lack of information wase wengi hawaja 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 like hawaja pata the exact information and the processes zenye wao wase wana follow wakikuja doha so first I'd like to thank my subscribers. Thank you so much guys when you may subscribe, when you may support my colleagues at work, my friends at home, my family also. So I just like to thank you guys. And now I'm just subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe because at the end of this video, I'll be able to share also the most uh, legit agents ama like agents that you can see what to do. The some agents like you can trust, okay? So first I will start with the process and the requirements or whatever you need to have before you travel to either abroad let's say mtoto ko pale mtaani you want to travel to Doha or Gulf or anywhere there's specific documents you need it's very important so I will start with the documents so leo leo mo kutengeneza some notes Which is uh, you know it's not easy to talk to a camera direct. Not to you come out to a na skiza. So the first uh, document you need, it's a CV, of course. Everyone I believe are on a CV. So this CV, you have to master your CV. Like most of the CV in Gulf, what na danganya. Nzandika we ulikuwa cook, I'm a chef. Na to je ingia jikoni, you know. I'm a wewe ni mechanic, to wezi fungua taya. So you have to have a CV and you have to know your CV. So you have to uh, check it line by line and you need to know whatever you wrote there because while the interviewers are talking to Doha or Dubai or Mawabi, they will ask questions depending on your CV. So guys, must have a CV and must learn your CV. So the other thing you must have is uh, most important before even the CV, you must have a valid passport. What do I mean by a valid passport? Valid passport, it has to be not more than two months I'm a less than two months or one year because the job you'll find or the job you're applying for mostly the contracts run for two years so the passport has to be valid at least more than two years at least more than two years because after your contract of two years that's when you'll get your vacation to go and renew the passport at least it'll be easy for you But still after one year you can get a vacation to renew your passport but at least two years it's uh, convenient and the other thing is uh, for some agents you must have uh, uh, what we call this one you must have police clearance CID this is a good conduct and this good conduct has to be attested by the DCI uh, the other thing is confidence So most of the agents are when wanatoka Gadoa ama Dubai kuja kufanya agents actually they don't really check uh, what is your profession mostly if you are not applying for a professional job if you are applying for like a basic uh, like uh, basic jobs kama security cleaner helpers and uh, many other jobs they'll check your body uh, they'll check how you look like how is your confidence So what angle kama eh you can stand for 12 hours you can stand for 10 hours like come up come strong so you have to have also confidence and the last most important thing which at a agent is kubali you must have money kama una do brother this is stay always travel there's no agent there's no agent like legit agent will allow you to travel without money So lazima uko na do. Kama una do, manze uweze travel. Hata mwenyewe kama una do, uweze fika kwa hiyo agents kufanya interview. So it's very important you must have money. Like let's see. Okay, to assume una do no mende mpita interview. 
at the end of the day you will have to pay that money so that you can travel legit agents they don't allow you to travel and then mkuje kulipishana pole pole like they are, they are, your contract between you and the agent in Asia pale kwa airport so kisha fika doa unaanza kazi yako na unaanza contract mpya na your agent like uh, unaanza contract mpya with your employer so guys it's very important to kwenda do kama unataka ku travel so hope umepata hiyo point zangu na hope sijajichanganya sana kwa the first time kuongelesha camera direct so bear with me guys so kama tumalea the first part tumesema valid passport more than two years uh, updated cv confidence and money na dci clearance which is good contact five things you must have so let's assume umeenda kwa agent leo umepata kazi ama umepata interviews na endelea and you already qualified the first part so no umepita interview umekuwa shortlisted umepita interview for any kind of job there's a process from there the process inachanganyaga wasi na ndio inafanya watu wanapoteza do na wengi wanadanganywa sana so i will just mention few parts of it like a few process of it yenye vile unafaa kupitia until the end of the process back of travel so i will start by my process yenye nilitumia kukuja doha which was very swift and i thank my my agent or whatever like the agent i used and then i want to thank to thank also the I want to thank also the secretary. So guys, mkenda kwa agency. By the way, you see there the secretary. Pa the secretary don't go na jobs. See the employer, I mean the owner of the agency. See yeye anakuwa na jobs. Yeye anakuwa amechukua contract kutoka Doha anapeleka kwa ofisi yake. Secretary ni nachagua ngo watu wanaenda interview. So kidara u secretary pale, mazee CV yako ni za kutupiwa itatolewa mapema mapema itupwe. So very important respect the agents, secretaries. Na I want to thank also the secretary who helped me to get a job. Ukiwa pale nje Miss Doreen, thank you. So, I did attend interview 2017 on February and it was very swift. Actually I did a company called Ansal Gallery kama wale wa Kodoa wanaijua. Some of them when you are Kodoa umeiona mibiko tu kila mahali za multinational country uh, company. Iko multinational company yenye iko iko Dubai, iko China, iko Oman, like it's a very big company. So the process was very swift. Like the agency wali tusaidia poa sana na wakapeleka vitu faster faster within a month to go to my travel. But like uh, a good company or a genuine agent are taking long to process papers I'm say they don't take long. It maybe takes like a month. Like average minimum a month. Because now the process any mean to me I'll just explain briefly the first thing we had is an interview which was on a Monday sorry on a Wednesday on Monday it was like application on a, on a Wednesday we had our interviews so luckily I was uh, selected and then on Friday they, they like uh, called us and informs that uh, they informed us that wala uh, wamepita interview ni akina nani so we are told to come for medical on monday the following week on monday to kind of medical which is very important so you have to be fit medically or uh, you have to be like auna uh, cause utapimwa virusi utapimwa tb utapimwa kifua utapimwa so many things you have to be medically fit so after medical is katumwa doha for verification cause ana tuma hapa ndio watengeneze visa so medical tumwa doha so the first thing was interview the second thing kupita the third thing medical so after medical zimetumwa doha we can verify that we are fit to work in doha because the environment between kenya and doha is very different so they have to check so many things especially tb kama unajua shai kwa na tb please usikuje doha cause utarudishwa na utapoteza do so many people have seen wamekuwa wakikuja hapa wanadanganya medical na wanarudi home so guys be careful kama unajoshe kwa na tb don't even bother utapoteza do yako cause ukirudishwa home agent airudishi do so after medical imetumwa doha after like 3 4 5 days tukaitiwa offer letter after verification of the medical process documents kaitiwa offer letter so on the offer letter you have to be careful 
some agents and any rogue agents they will fake the offer letters what andika kila kitu cause sasa si wa Kenya tunangoja offer letter ndio tukane do tuki receive offer letter tuna sign na tuna peana do you have to be careful at this point usha to me offer letter you have to also do your homework or background checkup call your friends in Doha i know some of you are friends call your family in Doha tell them to verify this company if possible so let them even call because on the offer letter there's a head logo with the communication uh, i mean with the uh, address you can call and check with them kama ni ukweli hii kampuni inaandika ama ni agents tu imetengeneza this kind of things so after the offer letter you have signed you have accepted that because offer letter itakuwa na details za kazi utakuwa unafanya 10 hours this is the basic salary this is the food allowance accommodation and transport all these things have to be there you have to check so after you've confirmed on the offer letter they will send it back to doha so after a week since to accept the offer letter ukatuma after another week to receive visa so after we receive the visa at this point already to check our confidence like our process is very swift na kila kitu inaendelea poa so after visa 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 came the agency akatusukuma tukalipa do but not fully until we received like after a week we received tickets to doha so in summary in this whole process atukupeana pesa tulikuwa tunafaa kulipa kwa agent sitasema ndo ngapi but the money ranges between 100 and 150k at this point because it will five years ago we don't know size when i don't happy but it's between 100k to 150k so we let's see to receive a uh, offer letter we paid some money to leave at least half until we receive the visa to cut me a full amount so we receive offer letter and only a full amount because that visa is a quick process so after we receive the visa i paid at least up to a third of the money then when i receive a ticket before traveling i paid full amount so you have to at least follow this process those usinyanga nyodo yako yote so guys be careful when you pay your money at the agency and you have to do your homework before you process or you proceed with any uh, company or your uh, agent so guys uh, let's go to another point another point is how to know the agency is legit or uh, it's genuine actually i said before i finish this video i will tell you how many like how many agencies we have the top agencies we have in kenya which are legit and they are bringing people in door some of the agencies one of them ni yenye letter the other agencies zenye i was referred by friends when you called door i asked them in the street so as you have seen some of my videos what one asemani likuja na agent a agent b agent 3 so these agents in me compile the list i will be sharing with you guys and if you make to visit this any of these agencies when we travel 5 years ago it was very nice agency so remember covid will come some of the agencies lifunga some of the agencies kanza kuwa wakora and between these agencies kuna also uh, kuna what we call brokers katikati kuna wale si hawana jobs but wako na agency na agency nyingine iko iko na jobs but haizi tafuta man, manpower mara moja as in kama watu 200 at once so they use brokers also so be careful with the agency do your homework so how do you know that the agency is legit huwa wanakuwa na operation license ya agencies now this uh, license inakuwa ga renewed on a yearly basis so you can do your homework go online check with the national employment authority uone kama agency uh, license yao inafanya kazi before you start any process with them just make sure you check with them kama uko na bishte pia who referred you there check with them kama washa ileta watu doa gulf wapi so just ask before you proceed with them okay guys it's very important and then uh, if you are using a broker broker si wabaya wako sawa pia wao wako kazi but just make sure you follow the diligence process the ocb we do guys be careful na insist be careful cause in do kiunyanganyo 100k na kenya size itakuwa noma sana 
so it's very important to be careful na agencies na brokers okay so i will go just direct to the agency and yellow data and i like to thank them because they were legit na process ilikuwa very swift and kama uko pale nairobi i'll just advise you uwatembele na utapata pale secretary utapata mwenye company maybe akwangi most of the time na watakusaidia so very important you bring all your documents valid document so i will start with the first agency and yellow data which is plan manpower plan manpower iko development house second floor development house iko happy next to avia center kama wewe ni mtu wa ronga gari za ronga zinapandwa tu hapo development house second floor utapata agency na jita plan manpower na watakusaidia so hata kama nimesema watakusaidia it doesn't mean that wako na kazi saizi okay so enda pale share your documents and they will keep in touch so the second agency yenye imeleta leta watu sana imepeleka watu Turkey, Saudi Arabia, imepeleka watu Dubai, Qatar inajita Talent Quest. Talent Quest, Talent Quest iko afya center, but I don't know about the floor. But you can check online Talent Quest hata ukiangalia TikTok wapi wanajita Talent Quest you will find them and you will find the contact. You will find someone called David. David atakusaidia. And the other agency yenye imeleta watu hapa Doha it's called TDM. TDM International Limited TDM International Limited mimi usiniulize CG ko api but some of my friends will kuja through TDM International Limited and the other agency is Gulf Manpower Gulf Manpower also it's one of the legit agents in Nairobi so you can try to check them online check their location go Facebook go to TikTok go to social media you will find them the Gulf Manpower International also they are legit and the other agency which is called Aljamana agency Aljamana Aljamana is a legit agent in Nairobi also you can find them online everywhere just type Almana Al Aljamana Aljamana agency utawapata so uh, and the last one it's Elmaville Elmaville agency Elmaville initially five years ago pali niliona ilikuwa uchumi au 10th floor but i had recently they moved to they moved to westland elmaville is a good agency actually imeleta watu wengi kwa kampuni mingi hapa sana if i check in and you meleta watu karwa imeleta watu to mcdonald ileta watu wa world cup so these six agencies nimetaja they are the one which are like you can trust us at now the rest i don't know but this one you can try your luck and see kama wako na kazi saizi and the other thing point i like to mention corona will come na doa kulikuwa gana kazi as in before world cup kulikuwa na job before corona kulikuwa na jobs and then during world cup kulikuwa na jobs short period contract na ziliisha na some of the guys waliangukia wakabaki and most of the guys big percentage of the guys were carried home so after world cup jobs were really down agency saizi wanaweza kuambia come and register with, with us give us 3000 give us 5000 tungoje kazi so don't give away your money ukingoja kazi it's better uko tu nawapitia ukipita pale tao you pop in you check you check their social media because they always posting you check kama wame post any jobs also link your your friends doha wapi dubai they can tell you when their companies they are recruiting so guys usiende pale kwa agency uache doha yako ilale hapo maybe 1500 1500 1000 10 saizi jobs iko down doha hata dubai the situation is not the same kama kitambo so guys be careful and i hope this information tawasaidia so hata kama nimeongea haraka haraka nimejikanganya but hope the main point umeipata na i wish you guys all the best na i want to thank you guys kama umewachi vidai wote i want to thank you just like share with your friends it has idea mse hata kama 10 people will watch at least 5 people will get help from the information so it's very important guys you have to do your homework before you try to find jobs with any kind of agency hata sisi hapa doha we are careful kuna wale wanaenda kwa agencies zinapeleka watu Poland, Canada na watu wananyanganywa hapa ta hapa doha it's very hard before we uh, we finish this uh, chat or uh, information kwa nawapatia 
guys watu wanaweza kudanganya hata utakutafutia kazi direct send some money kwa kutafutia process ya kukuja Doha ama Dubai Dubai i think it's somehow easy but Qatar the first thing i need to share with you Qatar hakuna visit visa kama Dubai with a visit visa you cannot find a job unless you find a job go back home and come back and then to have a visit visa you have to be invited by a family friend who wants a lot of money like akona position to kwa kazi yake he can invite someone to come and he can prove that akona mali pa kuka so hapa noha kuna bed space like dubai like you can visit and stay in a bed space for a month and then you find a job no so mtu asikudanganye doa only we come by work permit or work visa so na mtu asikudanganya ataku organize au kuje direct it's so difficult and very hard unless ana kutafutia free visa and every visa is your free visa it's very expensive more than 8000 qatar real here ni more than let's say how much almost 300000 Kenyan money ndio kuji direct with a free visa na hiyo free visa is only a visa 300000 more than 300000 hiyo ni pesa ya kukuja peke yake so you have to include trans, uh, like uh, rent food transport ya kwenda kwa sol kazi so it's very hard so ukifikiria mambo ya free visa first kuja doa na kazi yote kuja na cleaner kuja na security kuja na shelf stocker kuja na salesman from there you learn to change the company it's very easy now to change company once you manage 6 months it's very easy So guys, wish you the best na history of Revisa na doa kukuja doa with the Revisa we'll talk about it next time. So hope guys you enjoy na mmepata at least informative information for you guys wale mko mtaani wale mko doa wale mko wapi Saudi. So I wish you the best. So remember to subscribe, share with your friends and uh, press the notification key ndio tukipost video yote tokoa kwanza kuiona so guys cheers and uh, hope to see you next time ciao